Boondock Bob's Guide to RV Boondocking, an Amazon number one bestseller written by Bob Diffley. Chapter 1, The Art of Boondocking When the first self-contained RVs appeared on American highways, the concept of a full-service RV resort had not yet become the seed of an idea. Even the concept of a recreation vehicle or house car for transportation as well as housing completely independent of electrical, water, and sewage systems and self-sustainable while seeing the wondrous scenic landscapes of this great and diverse country was scoffed at and likened to itinerant gypsy wagons. But the self-sustaining independence would become the beauty and lure of RV camping. Then campgrounds and hookups came along, and the new mainstream RVers evolved from wanting to be free of tethers to RVers demanding campgrounds with hookups and even more comfort amenities wherever they wanted to camp. Campgrounds turned into resorts with attractions to match the luxurious vacation hotels and spas with price tags to match. And, in a very Darwinian evolutionary process, many RVers lost their ability to camp without life-supporting appendages, just like early humanoids lost their tails when they stopped swinging from trees. But unlike the humanoids that lost their tails, RVers did not lose their ability to camp without the life-supporting tethers. In fact, they became even more adaptable, efficient, and practical for camping independent of support systems, well beyond the dreams of the early adapters. Giant water supply tanks and waste tanks, generators, solar panels, high efficiency electricity storing batteries, full size refrigerators, massive amounts of storage and pantries, efficient heating and cooling systems, and many other improvements now make camping without hookups boondocking, almost as easy as staying in a full hookup campground. But many owners, though they know that their rig has these systems already built in, stay wary of camping away from the ease and predictability of the grid. The mishaps of the late comedian Robin Williams in the movie RV are typical of what many new RVers are convinced will happen to them if they become too adventurous. The truth is, if you don't venture out away from conventional overnight options, you will miss out on one of the most fulfilling features of the RV lifestyle, the option to camp just about anywhere you want to on America's public lands, in its forests and deserts, by streams, rivers and lakes, on Indian reservations and fish and wildlife properties, on state and federal wildlife and forest preserves, and water properties managed by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. In this ebook, I will take you on a virtual tour that answers the core question of why so many experienced RVers choose to boondock, why we do it, how we do it, and how we do it comfortably. I will show you how to improve your skills, how to make the most of your rig systems, how to find those splendiferous boondocking sites that leave you speechless when you're all alone on an expansive desert plateau as the sun sinks slowly over a distant rocky ridge in a blaze of the impossibly vivid colors of a desert sunset. To learn more about boondocking and Bob Diffley's guide ebook, click the link in the description below this video.